guys, my name is AP, and today we are going to be continuing our, tuto our tutorial series on, um, let me actually, should be working at least to the minimal list. <laughs> uh, unexpected, 94. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a third one. Okay, okay, continue. Okay, so, what we are going, oh, not that. Just close down to that. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a score button and a game over screen. And by the way, the collision is now working. I have fixed it. So what I did was I erased the other one, which totally didn't work at all. And I replaced it with this one, which takes two objects, an A and a B, and it tests if they're actually colliding. You can look at it, and you can see what it looks like. It looks very beautiful. And D, yep. And so... We're going to be using that to test if it's colliding or is it not colliding. See, if it's colliding, then it'll return true, else it'll return false. So, got a burp, but it can't. Okay, so what I did here is vol equals do collision, so it will be either true or false. So if it's true, then it would reset the player's position. Look, we just saw here. So what I plan on doing is adding a score meter to see how long you survive in seconds and adding a game over screen and to where you can play again. So the first thing we need to do is add a score meter, which isn't that hard, but we need one thing. We need a text function to actually write our text. We're not going to use a bunch of rectangles to write our text. It's dumb. <laughs> so what we got to do is we got to have a function called text and it has to have five parameters. A text to actually know what you're writing, a font to display the text, an X and Y coordinate, and a color. A color is optional because it can either turn into like the last stroke color you use. So, I mean, you can't, I mean, you want to add it because then it wouldn't really work out well. Anyways, what we need to do is it's already a built in function in JavaScript with context.fill uh, text that text and you it takes a text x and a y but it's sort of a three-parter to where it has context not fill style oops fill style and which equals the color and it has a context dot font which is your font to your font it'll, it'll look like this it would look like 30 pixels how big and which one which is like Arial. so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually put that into our draw of it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say text uh, we don't have a score <laughs> so oh, we already have a score okay so score equals zero so I mean we can't put this so we're just gonna do score and so and then plus score which we'll just put like a score and then it will put the score. So, the next thing we gotta do is we have to have a font. I'm just gonna say 30 pixel uh, cosmic sands, which is the best of all the fonts, if I do say so myself. It has to have MS for Microsoft, I guess. I really don't know. And then we have an X and Y, which I'm gonna say uh, C or 50, because it draws from the uh, bottom right left corner, so C or 50 should be good. And it's going to be white, because then, why wouldn't it be black? Because it has a black background. So what this should do is, ooh, Cosmic Sands. Oh, it's Comic Sand, not Cosmic. <laughs> so now, okay, there we go. We have our thing. It looks a bit weird, so I'm going to say uh, 30 by 20. And we, no, 30 by 10. There we go. Yeah. <coughs> so now we have our score, but it doesn't really go up because it has no, nowhere to go up. Ooh, look at that. So what we got to do now is we got to add a uh, place to where it goes up. So we got to do score plus equals one divided by FPS. So what this does is one divided by FPS, which is now a global variable, which is now a variable. <laughs> And so what this does, it's 60, so it'll be 1 divided by 60. So, 
in one divided by 60 plus 60 frames per second equals once per second. Oops, they were just open for random reasons. Uh, so we got one per second, so in our thing, it should. Ooh, I forgot. So it's going up one per second, yes, but it's not really going up one per second, it's going up that much per second. So what we want to do is in the thing we want to say math dot wait yeah math dot floor because then it would floor it to where it has no decimal uh, decimal voice points. So uh, so we have our score it's going up one per second which is great, but when we die it doesn't reset. So what we want to do now is we want to say score equals zero after we die. So now, if we have this and then we die, it turns back to zero. Good, so that's part one dead. Now the next part is a game over screen, which you might just think, ah, oh, you could just put text. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. You can put text here, say, God, oh, text, uh, it's not score anymore, it's gonna be game over. Game over, and uh, 75, because you want it to be bold and wiki fresh. And then you have 20, and then you have, not 20, why would you have 20? It's too small. And then 20 by 300, it's going to be white, yes. But, as you can see, ooh, it's going to be there forever. I mean, this looks good. Game over. Hello. <laughs> but we want to say it once we collide. So what we got to do here? Well, we need to make another variable called game over. So when we do that, it's going to be false. Because the okay, game isn't over yet. So once we do that, we need to uh, add that to where, first of all, we can actually just control X. I'm putting it in here for now. We can just say game over equals true. So what this does is now in the draw function, we can do if game over, which is every free single frame, then we could easily just put. Uh, came over here to where it does that. But hold on, you say, uh, if you do this, we can't actually put it here, because then once you game over, then the game resets immediately, so it wouldn't really show. Here, let me show you what I mean. So what I mean over here is when you die, it puts the text here forever, and you really can't, ooh, it looks like a nice joystick. Anyways, but it's good. you're stuck there. You can't move, okay? Because every time you do that, score equals zero. So if game over, so, that. so what we need to do is we're gonna draw another uh, rectangle, the same sort of rectangle right here. Control C, the Control V. That's kind of dumb because then the text would not get drawn. We need to put it right here. Okay, so yeah. Now, we have ourselves, once we die, a game over screen. We have nothing else that follows it, just game over. Now, what if you want to play a game? Well, just refresh the screen, which is not a good way to do it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to make a button, probably right here, where it um, uh, uh, plays again. So we're going to make another rectangle. It's going to be green. So uh, right here, rect. Uh, it's gonna be uh, 100 by 350. Yes, or 300. Nah, 350. Okay, so it's gonna be 350. It's gonna be 100 pixels wide by uh, 50 pixels, and it's gonna be green. And then, so what this does is, once you die, it should create a green. T Ooh, two. It'd be 200. I guess 200. Or 250, I guess, because I don't want it to be exactly in line with the uh, thing. And once you die, it'd be have a green button right there. So, yeah, we're gonna. No, we're not gonna put any text right there for now. Or I'm gonna put it between episodes. So, what we wanna do is we wanna determine the mouse X and the mouse Y in your canvas to realize, oh, it's like, is my mouse in the green? area and if it is when I press the left trigger it will restart the game so what we want to do now is we want to make another function 
that determines mass x and mass y because mass x and mass y isn't a variable in JS. Luckily, I <coughs> Luckily, I have another JS file over here with the function that we need. So we can look at it in depth right here. So what this does is rectangle equals canvas dot get bounding client rect. What this does is it's getting where the uh, rectangle in your window, uh, window right here, your all this window, it's getting your canvas, and it's getting where it is. <coughs> So, what this is, is event.clientx, which is the actual window itself, minus direct.left, which is just right here. So, it's saying, okay, so from here all the way is what it is. So, and if y is event.client y, and it's just saying from here and then to forward, and you're going to start counting x instead of in this corner. You're going to start counting here. Whoop! So, what we need to do now is we need to actually return this so we're just gonna copy and paste this into our brand new thing and we don't really need it anymore because then we're gonna make a new function called uh, button press and it has to have an e as a perimeter so what this does is what the e does is when you go up here you can just uh, do this document dot get not get add event the add event listener that's what it was listener and then you want to add a when you mouse down because uh, when you mouse down you want to calculate you already have okay button press <sighs> stop I'm just rambling on Okay, and then false, because you don't want to use capturing. So, we need to make a global mouse x mouse y, so everywhere, everywhere, so it can be used everywhere, so. Mouse x mouse y. And so, uh, button press, that's why we need to E, because then when the event happens, when we click, uh, it actually works. So. Once we did here, we <coughs> just going to say that uh, this control C, control V equals that. So it actually resets the p player's position. Let me just put this all correct. And it resets everything. But we also want to turn game over off because now yeah, we'll stop drawing this. Hold on, now I can actually get rid of that. So, let me show you. I'll show you that doesn't need to be. Actually, that does need to be there, because that. So, what this does is, now that you have died, you have a game over screen. It's like, ah, I, I, I can't do that. I want to go play again. So, you press the green button, and voila, you're playing again. Score reset, players reset. Uh, we could make it to where the rectangle's position is reset, but it really doesn't matter. Because it's randomized where it starts soon, as is sooner. So now when we die, we get the game over screen, and then click again. Everything's reset. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it was very difficult to do on my own time because I do these videos in preparation, and then I do it again because now I have the code that I remember. So I hope you enjoy this episode of it. Uh, it was. Is very easy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and so I will see you in the next tutorial or coding challenge. Yes, I do coding challenges now. Check out my cookie clicker. So, uh, see you. Bye. I really don't know what to do with these outros. Uh, I need to uh, make it to where it's a certain mouse position and not just anywhere. In the mouse. Okay, hold on, let me show you. So, once you die, whoops, gotta die. <laughs> you can look anywhere and it restarts. We do not want that. We just want it to be a degree. I'm in a bit of a hurry because this is, I just recorded this after the video. So, uh, it's probably going to be ended, uh, it's going to be added at the end of the video. Anyways, let's start. Uh, so, since we got our mouse Y and that as a, oh wait, no we don't. We do not have that. Do we? Yeah, that's, pff, we do not have that.
<laughs> That's just so dumb of me. Anyways, now we actually got to calculate. So, uh, pause equals get mouse pause. It's going to be canvas, which this the ID is going to be E. That's why we put the E there. And so, pause.x or pause or mouse x, as we're going to say, is mouse x. Yeah, they're all variables. So, mouse x equals the pause.x because that's what we put there. So, and then mouse y equals pause dot y, and boom, we got our things. So, now we can do, mouse, if mouse x is greater than 200, and actually, it's 250, but if it's greater than the coordinates that I'm going to list, and, whew, I can't really, I'm in a hurry. Oh no, I messed up some things. What did I mess up? Oh, here it is. Uh, so we just go to control X and then we go to control V. Actually, we can. Oh, what? Oh, I just. Oh, I press control C. So if the and mouse Y is not Y X. See, I'm in such a hurry and I keep forgetting things. So if mouse Y is, is uh, greater than 350, because 250 plus 100 equals uh, 350. And that's the width. And mouse y, I always put the spaces for some reason, is greater than whatever we put as a coordinate, it would be 350. And mouse y is uh, less than 400, because, you know, math. And what we're going to put here is we're going to actually, now, once we press the button, it's going to reset the game. So, I'll show you what I mean. So, button press is being ran, and so, now I, okay, now you can't click out here anymore, you have to click on the button. Sweet! Okay. So, I think that should be it in the episode. Okay, bye.